friends and welcome back to the channel. Someone requested that I do a How I Lost Weight video. So as you guys can see from the title, today we are doing a What I Eat In A Day video. I have lost a good set of weight since quarantine trial. The quarantine 15 hit me in a different way and I'm so, so, so excited about it. So after she requested that, I decided, hey, let me share my journey with you guys. So here are the meals that I have been eating to help me lose weight. This is just like only a set of the meals. I will update this series as I go, as I continue on my fitness journey. But yeah, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe, share this video with a friend who may enjoy it. Thumbs it up, it helps me out a lot. It lets me know that you're enjoying my content. And yeah, let's get straight on into the video. Hi friends. Okay, so for breakfast, we are going to do overnight oats only thing i didn't prepare them overnight but i'll show you a little hack that'll make them just as tasty okay so for this what you're gonna need are some dried cranberries or raisins or any kind of fruit strawberries could work as well oats peanut butter some essence and yogurt i forgot to show you guys yogurt but we we need yogurt so to start off, we are going to use 1.75 ounces of oats, and you're just gonna pop that in a bowl. It's either 1.75 or 1.25, but you can adjust that depending on your goals. And then I'm just going to let that soak in some hot water for a few minutes. After that, I am going to add some peanut butter and I believe that this is half a teaspoon of, I'm sorry, half a tablespoon of peanut butter. And we're gonna mix that all in. So now, we're gonna use some protein powder. This recipe calls for half a scoop of protein powder, but depending on your goals, you can use half or you can use a full scoop. So normally you can add milk, but I just choose not to add milk because for me, calories is like money. Like where I don't have to spend it, I choose not to. So instead of using milk and adding extra calories, I'll just mix my protein powder with a little bit of water. And honestly, like you really can't tell a difference because mixing the protein powder and water gives you a milk consistency anyway. So save yourself like 20 calories, girl, and just use some water. <laughs> so then you wanna add some vanilla essence in there just to give it a little, mm, a little taste, a little something, extra pizzazz, yes. <laughs> I'm having way too much wrong with this. So you mix that up until you're happy with the consistency and then we're gonna mix everything together. This is one of my absolute favorite things to eat for breakfast. It's just so good and knowing that it's healthy just makes me all that much more excited. So once the oats have been soaked for a little bit, we are going to add in our yogurt and you want to add four ounces of yogurt. I just use the full six ounces because I want to. But really with dieting and changing your lifestyle when it comes to eating healthy, it's just about knowing your goals and how you can you utilize calories to get to those goals. So mix your yogurt and mix your oats and then we're gonna pour the protein into that. Make sure it's all stirred really, really well. Now at this point, you can add some dried cranberries, you can add raisins. Recently, I've tried out using strawberries, like probably three or four strawberries cut, cut up really, really small. And I absolutely love fresh strawberries instead of the dried cranberries. I just didn't add any today because I didn't feel it, but those are some options for you. And of course, you can sweeten it if you like. Sometimes I add honey 
Sometimes I add Splenda, it's all up to your preference, but just bear in mind, honey is extra calories. And remember I was telling you guys about a hack, if you don't do it the night before, you can always add, you can always add a block of ice and then pop it in the freezer so that it's, it gets cold, but you can eat it in about 20 minutes or so, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so before I go on, let me just tell you guys, I eat four times a day. I realize that that fits my lifestyle best, so that is what I do. So for a snack, I usually have this like mid-morning or depending on how I'm feeling that day, I'd have this between lunch and dinner, but I just cut up some fruits in a bowl and mix them all together and that's my healthy little fruit salad right there and there you have a healthy snack. Next, for lunch, we are going to be doing spaghetti and burgers. Now, this is how I prep my spaghetti. I boil the water and I add this mix. <laughs> I boil the water and I add this mix. In this mix is sweet peppers. I have yellow and red sweet peppers and then I have a little bit of onion in there and I just pop that in the water and then put the spaghetti in so that everything can marinate. And here we have our burger. Now this is not a typical burger. This is a veggie burger so it is soy based. So if that doesn't work for you, you can use a regular burger or any kind of meat but this is just what I chose to add today. So I put that mixture on top of the veggie burger as well and then I add some complete seasoning to give it a little razzadazz, a little pizzazz. <laughs> and I just pop that in the toaster oven and let it bake for about, I'd say about 20 minutes. And then that's it for the veggie burger. No. When it comes to veg, I know a lot of people hate veg, but for me, I like to see my plate looking very, very pretty. I don't know about you, but I eat with my eyes. So today we are going to do some bora beans and some red cabbage. I don't know why people call it red cabbage and red onion. This thing is clearly purple. <laughs> So after I have my desired amount, what I'm gonna do is pop that in a frying pan on low heat and mix everything together. Now, instead of using oil, because if you guys don't know, oil is a lot of calories. And you, if you're frying with it, you typically can't measure how many calories it is if you keep adding and adding. So this mixture is key sweet peppers and onions. It really, really adds spice and flavor to your foods. And that is key when you're on a healthy journey because you want your foods to taste good. You don't want to be eating boring foods because then you'll cheat. So I just let that marinate for a little bit and then I pop the veg in the frying pan and I just mix everything together and let it saute a little bit. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and soy sauce is a great addition to your foods as well because soy sauce is very, very low in calories and any spices will help you. Just figure out what you like and what you don't like. Here I added some curry. I absolutely love curry in food. It's amazing. So I know typically you guys would have spaghetti as the base. Remember, we're on a healthy journey. So we're gonna have our veg as a base and then we're gonna use about two ounces of spaghetti. Yes, get your measuring cup out. If you have a food skill, measure it because this will all help with your goals at the end of the day. So that's about two ounces. It seems as though I had a little bit too much. But you wanna have two ounces of spaghetti and then you pop your veggie burger or your source of protein on top. And there you have it. That's what I'm gonna have for lunch. And I'm also gonna have that again for dinner. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that video.